I don't know what to do with him yet. He's right here. It's a Topaz What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's here with Prolific Breed. It's been a couple of weeks. I haven't been filming, so I got a lot of things to share with you guys, so stay tuned. Here's how the tank's looking. The last video I shot, I had these two snowflake clowns from Live Aquaria coming in. They're doing great. They eat like pigs. I also had this um, saddleback clownfish. I tried to put him into the Lagoon 25 because I have another one in there as well. But I guess the six line Ras and the other Saddleback, they got that tank kind of marked out and they got their territories and everything. So I had them in a breeder box for about a week. And when I released them, man, those guys started pouncing on him and they were really mean and aggressive like kind of flaring and um, picking on him so I threw this saddleback clownfish into this tank and all three of them they have been getting along perfectly fine with a uh, lawnmower blenny he's right here sorry for the glare but yeah like during the cycling process all of my rocks turned brown and the back glass was also brown and I picked up this lawnmower blenny because I had one I have one in the Lagoon 25 also and he does a great job at eating and nibbling on all of the algae and he pretty much did a good job on this tank all of the rock was brown and if you look at the back of the overflow it was also all brown and you could see his um, mouth mark all over on the back I see him um, kind of constantly working it's a really good purchase for like 16 bucks off of live aquaria he's just always on the hunt and eating algae so he's putting in his work and I like him a lot what else I added in coral I didn't film that process I had a little mishap in the Lagoon 25 the fish in there I started seeing kind of long stringy poop coming out of them that means that there's parasites in the fish so I tried to treat the tank with some meds and when I dropped in the medicine it was Panicure C uh, deworming medicine I kind of soaked it in with the food and dropped it in with the fish and as soon as I dropped it in Within the next day, all of my corals with polyps, like this Xenia, the leather right there, the um, green coral you see, and my GSP, they all started um, melting away. Uh, the cloves too, they started melting away. So in, in emergency, I had this tank running, so I just kind of plopped them over to save them and unfortunately only the leather survived my GSP my cloves and my Xenia they all got shocked and they, they died uh, these are replacements from a kid that I met through offer up he he sold them to me for a pretty good price so I was able to kind of replace everything I lost kind of a hard lesson learned this tank is doing pretty good and I'm just kind of winging it and that's my dog snoring on the in the background but for the most part I'm throwing in all of the easy corals I don't think I'm gonna do anything with sticks I originally wanted to do an anemone tank just have it all anemones and just a couple of clowns I got one down there I just dropped them in two days ago and they're finding their spots and I got another one right here I want to put in some rose bubble tip anemones and just kind of call it a day keep it as a simple tank no acroporos no SPS or anything like that yes yeah, just turning into an easy tank I guess because I started dropping in all of my my zoas because of the mishap 
I'm just kind of spreading them out with all of my tanks just in case if anything crashes I'll have um, Zoas as backup so on each rock I put up I mounted a, a different strain of Zoa so I could just have backups like these are Sunny D's back here is uh, Pandora and the green one is something alien alien eyes but yeah like father's day is coming up and last night when i came home um my kids and my wife they went out to the fish store and they got me a surprise um two fishes one i know about already because i've had um these blue tangs in the past this one's right here, it's just a little baby. I'm scared that the clownfish would pick on it or bully it or whatever because it's so small. It's about a little bigger than a quarter size. So I have it in this breeder box right now just so everyone's used to looking at each other. I don't want to just drop them in right away and have them get beat up. So I'm going to leave them in here for a couple of days and then I'll release them but yeah that one's from my daughter but the second one I have no idea what to do with him um, if you guys follow my Instagram I gave you guys a sneak peek yesterday but the second one I did not want to drop him into my um, display tank yet but I put him in my sump. I don't know what to do with him yet. He's right here. It's a Topaz Puffer. My son picked him. I wanted to return him right away, but seeing how excited and happy he was for selecting this guy and giving him to me, I'm thinking about setting up another tank just for this Puffer has a cute little face <laughs> so I'm thinking about setting up another tank and housing this puffer or dropping him into this um, display tank now I tried to look up a whole bunch of videos on YouTube there's not much info out there and then when I'm searching on Google it says that they're aggressive and they're fin biters and coral eaters but Every puffer's different, right? So I don't know how his temperament is, but when I drop in a snail, he gobbles it up right away. It's pretty cool. Let's see how he does for a couple more days. I might drop him in here to see what happens, you know? But um, we'll see. <sighs> so the tank is doing pretty good. Bare bottom's looking good. I have um, one wave maker up here pushing everything towards this way and one in back right here is pushing all of the detritus to this end right here. I'm gonna do an open box on a product that I ordered in the next coming video. I um, just want to show steps on what I want to do with this detritus build up right here. Um, usually people siphon it out during water change just to get out all the poop but I want to take care of this um, as a daily maintenance so just to keep the tank crystal clear and clean stay tuned for that video coming soon I'm just waiting on the product to come from Amazon Give you guys a little glimpse of the Gobi and what he does. He's kind of like a Pleco. Too bad um, marine tanks don't have Plecos that would just suck up all the algae. I think this guy is the next best thing to a Pleco. He just like kind of gnaws at the, the rock and the glass. Let me see if I could get him in action right here. See that? He's just going in all the crevices and eating up all of the algae. 
just a quick video to update you guys on everything with this tank. Everything's doing fine. The zoas are growing. Hopefully it starts spreading. But yeah, the next step, I want to do the video on the how to handle this detritus buildup. And I want to pick up some rose bubble tip anemones. So stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.